so now we will see object methods in javascript so guys basically the object methods helps us in getting or setting the properties of the objects and this we are going to check with the help of examples as well methods can also be used to perform certain tasks related to the objects so guys let us move to the vs code over here and previously we had defined one of the objects that is person over here that is having multiple properties that is name age and gender as well apart from this we had already defined the function that is the method with the name display over here so guys this is the way that we define the object method in this case simply we have the name of the object method that is display followed by colon and then we have the function keyword followed by open and close parenthesis and then inside the curly braces we can have the lines of code that can be defined for that particular object method and then guys while calling this method simply we can use the object name followed by the dot character and then we have the name of the method over here now guys we can also use the object methods in order to get or set the property values of the objects so guys let us check that as well so let's say we have a requirement where we want to change the name of this particular person from peter to smith so ideally what we would do is simply we can say person object name followed by dot and then we can say name it is equal to smith over here so guys this particular line of code is also valid this will also work in order to change the name of the person let me just save this file now and try running this code over here on the terminal so as you can see we are now getting name is smith instead of peter and the other property values that is age and gender is same now guys this is one way of updating the object properties now guys there is another way of updating the object properties as well simply we can use the functions that is method for this particular object so what we will do is let us say we want to set the name over here so simply we will say set name followed by colon and then over here we will have the function keyword after which we will have the open and close curly braces now guys before the set name we need to provide a comma over here for the display function this time and then for the set name what we can do is simply we will say this dot name it is equal to and then while calling this particular set name function we need to take one parameter over here so let's say we provide name one as the parameter so that we don't get confused with this particular name property over here so guys simply we take the value of name one and assign it to this name property this time so simply we will have name one over here so what exactly is happening over here basically we will call the set name with the parameter that is name one over here which is going to update the existing name property value in this case so guys instead of having person dot name it is equal to smith this time simply we will say person followed by dot and then over here we will use the set name function over here and then after this we will have open and close parenthesis inside which we will say the name of the person so let's say the name of the person is john it is going to replace the existing name that is peter this time and then we are calling the display function over here let us see what will be the changes let me just save this file now and try running this code over here on the terminal so now as you can see name is john that's because the set name function that is the method is helping us in order to update the name property for that particular object and that is how we can use the object methods in order to update the properties of the objects now guys both these lines that is person dot set name and person dot name is equal to some value both of them will help you in order to achieve the same functionality but this particular second option is more readable over here it makes more sense in order to say that this line of code is setting the name that is it is going to update the name of this person object now guys similarly we can also get the name as well in order to get a specific property over here so simply we are going to provide get name in this case followed by colon and then we have the function keyword and this time what we have to do is simply we are going to have the return statement from this function so what we want to return just the name property over here so we say return followed by this and then we have dot name over here so guys simply this particular name it will be returned in this case so guys first of all we have set the name as john in this case and then let's say we want to print this particular name so simply we will say console.log and then inside the string literal we will say updated name is and then followed by dollar 
and then simply we want to get just one property that is name over here so what we will do is we will say person that is the object name followed by dot either we can simply use the name property in order to simply get the name of the updated object let us check that as well so let me just save this file now and try running this code over here so as you can see updated name is john after setting the name as well but we can also use the get name function that we have just defined over here so simply instead of having the name property we will say get name over here but this time since it is a function we have to use the open and close parenthesis so let me just save this file now and try running this code over here once again on the terminal so as you can see updated name is john so guys you can use either of the options over here either you can use the person dot name over here or else you can use the method that helps us in order to get the specific property from the object so guys this is the way that you can use the methods inside object in order to either get or set the properties of the object comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to talk about object constructor in javascript so stay tuned